And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Code Rover Control. Now this is the second in a series of puzzle games from uh, ThinkFun. ThinkFun is known for making lots of different puzzles. They make uh, uh, Rush Hour and things like that. This is a series now to teach you programming skills. Um, so the, the first one was kind of a, how do you move a robot around. This one's similar, it's a rover, but these rovers are following different colored lines. And you need to draw these lines with dry erase markers in a book to make the robot follow that course. Uh, this teaches you different things about programming. Let me teach you how to play the game. So what you're doing in this is you're going to be picking a challenge from this book. And there's all kinds of challenges in here that range from advanced all the way up down to these beginner ones. You're going to find the board that matches it. So the, the game comes with several types of boards. This is the beginner board. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to be trying to get your thing from 7 to 9. So I'm going to put my rover start on 7 and I'm going to put the end on 9. So then I'll notice that some of the lines are colored in with blue. So I'm going to color those lines in with blue. Now I have a blue, green, and red marker and here I only need blue and red. But what you're trying to do is I'm trying to get this robot from 7 to 9 following this. Red line, blue line, red line. Now I can color any things in I want with any markers I want, but there's a couple rules. Only one color can be between two points. Each point has three lines from it. One would be red, one would be blue, one would be green. You can't have two blues coming from the same junction. So I need to go red. So I could say red, blue, red, but that doesn't get me anywhere. Red, I can't go from straight seven to nine, blue, but I can go from seven to four, red, then four to one, blue, then one to nine, red. And that meets the goal. The game comes with a rover that I can move around to show that I'm meeting the goal. Now that's pretty simple. You'll see as the book goes by, they get harder and they'll even have things like this where you need to get to certain checkpoints. And so this says, I need to hit six and zero. And when I'm, you get to this spot, you need to be on one of the checkpoints. So I need to be on six or zero here. And then after this green, I need to be on six or zero again. There's also charging stations. This says, are you at a charging station? Yes, then follow green. Otherwise, then you need to be on a checkpoint and then you need to go blue, green, red, blue, come back. Are you in a charging station? Yes. Otherwise, then you better be on a checkpoint. So if you can have, so a charging station has a yes, no aspect to it. Uh, and the, of course, if you're ever not following one of these things, you will lose. They're also using different maps. This here um, shows how the, the player is get collecting terrain samples. So when I get to this spot here, it says, do you have four terrain samples? Well, if yes, then I better be on four. If not, I need to add one terrain sample. So I have a card that does that, so I'll add one terrain sample. And then be on a checkpoint, and then blue, green, red, blue, green, red, green. Same thing, do I have four samples? No, and do the same thing. And so you have these loops that go on. Here, do you have five samples? No, then add a sample. Be on a checkpoint, blue. Are you on a data upload spot? Yes, blue, no, green. Come back. And so they get more and more difficult having different kinds of loops and different things. And they had the super challenges, these expert ones, have two rovers that are both moving on the board. So that's basically how you do it. If you get it from start to end, then you win the, the puzzle. Otherwise, you're gonna need to restart. Okay, so that is how that works. Now, this is the second in the series, and it's considerably more difficult than the first one in the series on the brink. Um, I was able to do the first missions for this, but when I got to the second ones, they, the, when I got to the uh, intermediate level, they start becoming difficult. I could still solve them, but there's a lot of thinking in here. There's a lot of forward thinking, and it's, I like this. It teaches and or. Um, it teaches, uh, or I'm sorry, it teaches or it, uh, situations, and it also teaches the addition, it teaching loops, a lot of basic concepts and programming and just the idea to be able to look there and, and follow the flow chart, because that's essentially what that they give you. They give you a flow chart, and then you are 
sitting there and actually making it happen and how it, you get from this point to this point while being at these points in the meantime. This requires a lot of forward thinking, but there's logical ways to eliminate things. Each spot has a red, green, or blue. So if there's a red and green, by, you know, I, I can figure out that this has to be a blue and I can't make this go here blue because if I do that, I won't be able to draw another blue line from that spot. The rover can come back on the same lines that he's gone back and forth. So this game has a lot more, or this puzzle, I guess, because it's really just a solitaire puzzle, but it has a lot more involved in it than you might think. I'm not as big a fan of the dry erase markers. I was constantly coloring, erasing, coloring, erasing. I wish there maybe was a better way to show that the lines were red, green, and blue, and my green marker is pretty much out already. But the rest of the piece and everything is really well done. And this, I, I really like this. It, it, a lot of these puzzles, you, you know, you're sliding things around, you're moving things. Here, you are like sitting there thinking to get from this point to that point. And those are the skills you need as a programmer. What a great idea. I'm really looking forward to seeing the third and final um, game in this series, but this is one I can recommend for kids and adults alike. Definitely check this out. That is Code Rover Control. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.